Hello everybody, welcome to the table. So recently I was shopping on eBay. I saw this knife right here, this CRKT. This is an M1612Z. Saw it for sale. And I can also see it was pretty rough. So take a look at this knife. We can see tons of rust on the blade. We can see some rust peeking on the liners inside the handle there. Taking a look inside, it also looks just a lot of uh, surface rust on there. Uh, mechanically, though, the knife seems to be in pretty good shape, so I was able to get it for a really inexpensive price. So I wanted to see if I could purchase this knife and clean it up a bit, give it, you know, a second life, so to speak. And one thing I will say about CRKT and the M16 model is that when you see these knives used, you can see the majority of them have lived a very busy life. Very rare to see one of these in really good condition selling used. Most of them, in fact, you'll see look something like this. So a lot of wear and tear on the blades. Sometimes we see some rust. This particular one, very excessive. We can see on, in the pivot area, it looks like there's tons of rust on the blade. Likely the knife was just used hard, put away wet, never cleaned off, never oiled. Uh, the blade at this point is also very dull, so it could use a sharpening. That's easy enough. But I just kind of wanted to take it apart and see what we have here. So see if I can clean it up, restore it kind of a little bit. Um, this is kind of an interesting model. It's a liner lock model. has the auto locks system here. So if you're not familiar with this little spring-loaded lever here, what happens is when you open this knife, it automatically engages a secondary lock on the liner lock here, so you cannot close this blade until you disengage this lever. So you disengage the lever, move the liner lock over, and close the knife. So this is called CRKT's Auto Locks. This is my first knife with an auto locks mechanism. Kind of annoying to have it, to be honest, but it's one of those extra safe features they advertise. So that's gonna be kind of interesting, getting this knife apart and trying not to break that auto locks feature. So we'll see if I can do it. So wish me luck. I decided to use a magic eraser here just to loosen up any surface rust that was here on the metal. It's a really fine, fine abrasive, so it wasn't going to scratch the metal, but it should be enough to loosen up any surface rust and, you know, get it ready for removal. Alright, so I'm going to try some of this uh, Rust Dissolver Gel. I've never used this before on knives, but we'll check it out and see how it works.
pretty clean for the most part there. Again, there is still some rust. I think I'm going to go over it really lightly with some, um, I have some aluminum polish or Mother's Mag polish. Usually this does pretty well on cleaning up metal. I'm not going to use too much. The goal here is just to clean it up of blemishes, but not really polish it. I don't want all this metal to be super shiny and uh, exposed. So we'll try that next and see if that helps. All right, I'm not so sure I'm gonna get it much cleaner than this, but either way from where we started, this is a pretty big improvement. Nice clean metal, clean and dry. And uh, the blade took kind of a neat little stain to it. I'm thinking that's from the rust remover. You can see right here near the tip, we have a neat little color variation there. So that's kind of interesting. And here where the rust was the worst, you can see most of it's gone. There's a little bit of pitting there, which may be hard to pick up, um, but that of course won't come out. But the actual surface rust is gone. And so I'm pretty happy with how the blade itself came out because the blade was really bad here around the pivot area. So this came out nice and clean. Um, so the challenge now is going to be to reassemble the knife, you know, get it back together in one piece, and hopefully we'll be able to get this locking mechanism operational again. So right now the spring is no longer in there. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to get that back in place, but we'll find out. Okay, had a little bit of trouble getting that auto locks mechanism back in operation again, but it is working fine now. Action is still really nice, and we can see the blade is a bit cleaned up. Um, there's still like a little bit of marking on there, but none of that red rust. The interior is nice and clean now. So this knife just needs a new edge, and it is ready to go back into service. Always nice to see a cheap, inexpensive blade get cleaned up, and it's ready for a new life. So we'll just sharpen it up and see how it looks. Now I had to remove a fair amount of metal to get the edge sharp again, but I did manage it. But essentially knife is as good as new as it could possibly get. So back in order. Cool. Have any questions? Feel free to drop a comment below. Hope you enjoyed watching and have a nice day. See you later.